So welcome to um, an introduction on an, a tourism ambassador scheme. Uh, I'm Catherine Glynn and I'm the Snowden Partnership Officer working um, within the National Park. Um, so what is a tourism ambassador scheme? Well, um, they are a programme designed mostly but not exclusively for people who come into contact with visitors to a certain area and to encourage learning. Um, they're a brilliant opportunity to learn about an area and they, they dig a bit deeper than the usual information that's available. Um, some form of training is usually offered to those who come into contact with visitors on a daily basis, such as um, mountain leaders, BMB or accommodation providers, hotel and visitor attraction staff. The only thing asked in return is, is a promise to share what is learned with visitors as a cascading sort of process. It's a great idea, not only as it enriches the visitor experience, but enhances knowledge and creates a feeling of belonging. Initially, the aspiration was to develop a scheme specifically for the Arwydfa, as noted in Cynllun Arwydfa, which is a management plan um, by Parneriaeth Arwydfa, which is an organisation, which is, which is a past partnership of organisations um, in charge of, of managing the mountain. Um, so we ran an initial Pan Wales workshop to discuss how the scheme would look and attracted a, a wide range of attendees such as project officers for schemes across Wales, organisations and business owners from the tourism and outdoor sectors and current ambassadors from existing schemes in Denbyshire, Brecon Beacons and in Drexel. It was an opportunity for us to share ideas um, and to learn what had worked and hadn't worked in other areas and how a scheme for Widva would look. But one thing that was made apparent was the appetite for a wider scheme across the whole of Irri, and that is reflected in the scheme that we have been working on. Um, so the workshop was an incredible, um, incredibly useful um, for development of this scheme and to set out the work programme for us um, for implementation of the project. So the next step was to organise an introduction or a taster session, if you like, um, to our scheme. So with the expertise of Padnera Thruidva, um, we organised um, a training day um, on which offered attendees all the information required to be able to give responsible um, advice to visitors on a, a visit to the mountain. And since then, we have been extremely busy developing the scheme further and collaborating with other local authorities across the north of Wales. So the scheme proved to be highly effective during the COVID-19 emergency, which was and continues to be um, a challenging time for the National Park and our partners, as it has been for everyone. Um, so. Um, we were able to share, as the scheme was in place, we were able to share our messaging um, quickly and consistently with the sectors and we organised um, and held numerous webinars um, to, to the industry and discussions with the sector are ongoing. Um, it just it was really really effective and they even shared our messaging on their own social media platforms which was really really great to see. Um, so since the start, we've received feedback um, from our partners and stakeholders on how to develop this scheme further and what to include in the modules. And by listening and adapting, we've developed a high quality scheme, which is a true reflection of the area, which Angela will tell you a bit more about now. Yeah, thanks, Catherine. Hi, I'm Angela Jones and I'm the Partnerships Manager for the National Park and I've also just led on the production of the new National Park Management Plan, Cynllunarari. And this scheme now comes firmly into that sphere and certainly in our core purpose of helping people to understand the special qualities of the National Park in more detail. And since the event which Catherine outlined in February, we've been in discussion with local authorities across the North Wales and we're looking at developing a North Wales wide ambassador scheme. And this will be based on the model currently being used in Denbyshire. So the next step for us during the lockdown period has been to develop a suite of online modules. And at the moment, we've got 12 modules in development. Potential ambassadors will need to complete three compulsory modules to become bronze accredited Snowdonia National Park ambassadors. 
These are an introduction or a welcome to the National Park Authority, one on sustainable tourism and one on a route map. Within each of these modules, there are a varying number of units. There's a short online test at the end of each module, which you'll need to score 80% in order to pass. This test can be attempted as many times though as necessary in order to get that 80%. The accreditation will last for two years. However, in the meantime, ambassadors can continue in their learning and challenge themselves to understand more about the nine special qualities of the National Park. The more modules you pass, the higher your status of ambassador goes. Therefore, by completing six modules successfully, you'll become a silver ambassador. Then, if you complete more than nine, you'll become a gold accredited ambassador. Of course, you can complete them all out of interest. These modules have been developed with the input of staff members across the authority, and very excitingly, with a contribution of many local people who feel as passionately about the National Park as we do. For example, Yola Williams has sent us a video about the wildlife of Snowdonia, which is in the module on species and habitats of the park. Chief Bard Murdin Abdavid has written a poem exclusively for us, using only the names of the valleys of Snowdonia, which is fitted into the special quality of the vibrancy of the Welsh language. We have had significant contributions from local artist Lisa Ergen Taylor and singer-songwriter Cassie in the module on inspiration for the arts. And in commu Community Cohesion, Dr. Anne Harrod Price has exclusively translated her po poem Genod Brynarevail, or The Girls, for an English-speaking audience. In these modules, you can also learn much more about some of the key projects being undertaken by different departments within the park. For example, the Sustainable Management Scheme, Uch Gwyrfai, the Carnefau Landscape Partnership, and peatland restoration projects, as well as our dark sky status and our partnership working on the historic environment and the endangered species within Araree. We hope that these modules give people confidence to pass on this important information and these vital messages to those who visit the area. Hello, I'm Diana Williams, the Sustainable Tourism Officer for Sydney National Park. As Angela has just explained, we will soon have a suite of online modules for you to complete. However, there are further opportunities for you as an ambassador. We plan to hold regular project-based events when the time comes, and these events will vary in style and context, and will be an excellent opportunity for you to raise any questions you have, or to discuss topics of interest in further depth. As we've also seen along this journey, the scheme continuously evolves and develops as, we ch as challenges arise, and as we receive feedback from our stakeholders and partners. This responsive and collaborative approach will continue as we progress with the scheme, so that we can ensure that we are always up to date and providing the most useful resources and information so we can achieve our end goal of enriching the visitor experience and enhancing knowledge and creating a feeling of belonging. We're also excited to see there's been an increase in interest of the Ambassador Scheme. And if you'd like to register your interest in joining the scheme, then please email Ellen Roberts at the email address on the screen. Hi, I'm Ellen and I work as an assistant for the engagement team. Send your emails to me. Thank you.